Hey, Reject Nation, how y'all doing? It's Greg Alva here. John is me. We're going to watch the trailer from Marvel, uh, Cloak and Dagger, that says our official trailer number one. Before we do that, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been following us over at Patreon. I wanted to mention on this video, because this is a TV show, and over at Patreon, we've been doing a lot of TV show reactions over there. I, myself, cover uh, Attack on Titan, episodes of The Flash, catching up this week. John covers Riverdale. He's also been covering Marvel's Runaways. Together, we cover Jessica Jones, and we cover My Hero Academia. Looking for maybe another show to add on to the list and occasionally we'll cover a movie. And we also do weekly Q&As over there. So thank you to everyone who's been following us over at Patreon. I'd love to have you. We've tried doing the, you know, cutting down the reactions into 10 minutes, putting them on YouTube, like how other channels have done. I don't know why uh, YouTube specifically goes after our channel, but it's like every single one of our TV show reactions has gotten blocked, even the 10 minute cuts. And we've followed all the formats that we've seen other people do. We've experimented, but they always get blocked. They're all on Patreon. We are now. First, we look at the past. New Orleans is a roller coaster of destruction and rebirth. New Orleans. Fire, famine, disease, war. Oh. It always came down to two people. The Divine Perry. The Cloak and Dagger. I feel like I have to be perfect. Like I have to do everything right. I go the other way. I run away from everything. Run and away. Things taken from me. And everything I have, I've had to steal. There's something about fear that pushes me. That was my whole life. Whenever anything goes wrong, I hightail it out of town. <laughs> I think we need to talk. Sexy. Shake those bones. Uh, Assess our limits. It's the same as it was for all the others. One will live, and one will die. The universe keeps pushing us together. The universe keeps pulling us apart. Nah, the universe is gonna put you guys together. Until the show needs to end and then they'll finally kill one of you. Hopefully. You know, I've seen most of the Marvel shows that have come out. There's only a couple I haven't seen. I've seen a good amount of this DC TV shows. This definitely looks more like one of those CW shows, actually. I got more of like a Black Lightning vibe, but more of like the teen angst version of a Black Lightning show. You crunched just... Black Lightning into the Runaways or something. Yeah. The Runaways has that melancholy quality, that teen. Yeah, that kinda, teen yeah. melancholy vibe. I mean, it would make sense. It's based on Cloak and Dagger, these dudes are high school right here which i can get on board with i didn't think i'd get on board for that for runaways but i enjoyed the hell out of runaways seeing it here it, it looks interesting i feel like fans of the comic books of cloak and dagger are really excited for this because they're fans of cloak and dagger the comic books for someone like myself who's not that familiar with cloak and dagger i'm at this point where i'm thinking this looks good i'm not like i have to go check this out though there's not something in me where I'm super gravitated towards what they're presenting. I usually feel that way about a good amount of the Marvel show trailers. I'm, I'm usually like, this looks cool, <laughs> but I don't really know about it. This seems like this will have some real grit to it though, you know, As despite it's like aesthetic reminding me more of a CW show, mm -hmm. I feel like it'll have a little more of that gritty side. The Marvel shows like Runaways will have or borderline Netflix territory will have. The two main actors, what I really like about these performances here is that they seem like very subtle performances, especially the dude. Like, the dude seems like he's giving a really subtle performance. Yeah, that was probably what pulled me into this trailer the most, was just the two of them and the idea that, you know, now we have a pairing, because, you know, there are only so many ways to remix what a superhero series is gonna be. You know, one of those ways, to me anyway, you know, we have, like, ensemble pieces, we have ones that center around, like, one person mm -hmm. or a specific 
big group of people teaming up, you know, for something special. And this is like two people who are connected by something. And I do like, uh, you know, the imagery and the juxtapositions of the light and the dark on them both and, and yeah. all that. I think there's some cool like visual symbolism they're hinting at. And piggybacking off that scene that they released before, that like pickpocket scene, you know, I, I, I further, you know, kind of grab their chemistry off this. And like you said, you know, the, the kind of subtlety of their performances yeah. and, and, you know, and that the white girl's the thief and not the black guy. I know! Oh, we're, we're remixing it! We're changing it up! Defying, <laughs> defying stereotypes. I mean, all these Marvel shows are connected. They're all part of the MCU, the bigger world, anyhow. The event, Runaways being on Hulu, and they said that this will be streaming on Hulu as well. Part of me is kind of hoping that they can cross this over with Runaways in some capacity. Oh, you know I mean, this is in New Orleans, and the Runaways are in LA. That would be cool, though, for them to all kind of cross over together and use all their powers. Well, and, and everything's shot in Louisiana now, so yeah, and <laughs> hopefully that'll make it easier. It should be the Runaways and Cloak and Dagger that take on Thanos in part two. Yeah, after Thanos kills all the Avengers. <laughs> Kills all the movie characters in yeah. that part too. All the TV heroes have to step up. <laughs> yeah. Literally all the properties crossing over. <laughs> They've been working on this show for a while because they had like trailers coming out for like a year now or something like that. These trailers have been dropping for a while yeah. and it's finally coming out in June. I'm wondering how much reshoots they've done or how much reworking they've been doing on this series because it's been a while it's been like being filmed. It looks like the work will pay off. Who knows? Who knows? People will tell me if they like it or not they always do <laughs> yeah i mean other than like the cast looking good and uh the appeal of some type of grid and like you said a duo the first like duo sh show to exist honestly it kind of looks like a basic teen drama to me in a, in a lot of ways i'm kind of mixed on the effects the effects look good but they don't look inspired for a show like this especially I, maybe it's just what i've learned to expect is like i, I know y'all don't have like a mega cg budget especially if you're doing this on freeform or something like that or even hulu i don't really go in kind of hoping that there will be some crazy cg I, I thought what they have here is is appropriate but you know it'll it'll take seeing the rest of the show too well knowing marvel tv shows the episodes will take a long time to build up <laughs> and they won't be heavy reliant on all the action sequences. I'm sure when it comes down to the context of it, the effects will be just fine. All right, guys. Well, are you going to take the time in your schedule of all the TV shows in the world to watch Marvel's Cloak and Dagger? Are you going to stop watching all other TV shows just so you can keep up with all the Marvel shows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty That's soon. basically what your life will gonna be soon. You're going to make that choice. <laughs> you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell to get notified every time one of our vids is up. And you can check us out on Patreon, people. See you later.